is a wild scene on Lake Winnipesaukee where state police marine patrol responded to a runaway boat right on the water. Yeah, you can see it speeding in circles there before a man on that jet ski, you see him there, just jump on board to get that boat under control. That man speaking out tonight about his daring leap and what caused that boat to get out of control in the first place. Kelly O'Brien is live in Guilford, New Hampshire with more. Well, certainly not a situation that you see every day. Yesterday, an unmanned runaway boat right here in Smith's Cove. The situation could have been much worse if it wasn't for a 17 year old kid. The sound of the boat is what tipped off the pro cons because all of Smith Cove is a no wake zone. Uh, so I was sitting on the porch and my dad yelled that there was an out of control boat in the wake zone. Brady and his dad Jeremy say the boat is part of a local sailing association. The operator, a sailing instructor. That instructor was mid lesson teaching kids how to sail when he reached for the tennis ball used to teach turning. As he went for it, one of the kids sailboats tipped over. The mast hitting the instructor's throttle, sending him flying into the water and the boat on a spiral. After getting the kids away from the runaway boat, the ProCon's neighbor, Justin King, told Brady to hop on the back of his jet ski, bringing him close to the boat to jump on it and stop it. Uh, I don't know. I, it just came to me. I didn't really think. I just did it. He was able to bring the boat to a stop, and no one was hurt in the process. Realizing now, 24 hours later, just how dangerous that jump was. I'm a little, re I'm realizing what I did a little bit. It scared me, but it was fun. Do it again. <laughs> An unexpected, memorable moment for Brady as he spends the summer on the lake before shipping off to the Navy this fall. In Guilford, New Hampshire, Kelly O'Brien, WCVB, New Center 5.